Hey guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds and it's time for another episode of Money Mondays JA brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. Now just before the Christmas, I had a chance for a little chat with Managing Director of the Jamaica Stock Exchange, Marlene Street Forest. It was an impromptu interview, so forgive some of the technical issues. At the time, they had just announced the move to the new NASDAQ platform, but it hadn't been implemented yet, so bear that in mind. She explained some of the benefits of the new platform. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Street Forest. Oh, and to you too. It's a good Christmas for you with all your travels and accomplishments. Yes. But I want to know some more about this uh, arrangement with NASDAQ. Yes, so tell me how that works. What exactly is a new platform? How is it different from what existed before? Okay, so it is a new trading engine and uh, an engine that is used by many um, global stock exchanges. The difference really is the fact that of, as it relates to the reliability of the, exchange, of the platform, the fact that it also offers the market surveillance um, portion that allows the stock exchange to do more in terms of market surveillance. It also offers the possibility to, of enabling us to do more products and offer more products and services because of its general reliability and scalability. So the NASDAQ platform really will provide us with the opportunity to grow and to achieve some of our strategic uh, uh, mission. Well, what One can you... Which is that we, next year, because we know that the platform is so built to allow, we'll be having short selling, we'll be having margin trading, and we'll be looking on options. What does that mean? What it means is that the system, we can, we can position the system, we can actually um, set the system to allow um, for customers or investors to participate in the market by doing short selling and also trading by margin. Well, Naturally, what's short selling? Okay, short selling is where um, an investor can decide that they want to um, purchase um, stocks um, even before they actually have it, so to speak, in their inventory. They can sell a short and also sell on margin. And what's, what's margin selling? So, mar margin trading is a, where you um, determine, based on the price, the, the, the amount or the, the, the price at which you would um, sell or you would offer those stocks that you have in your inventory to others in order for them to participate in the market. Mm -hmm. So I noticed too that you can do things like trade as few as one share that you weren't That's, able to do before. That is correct. Because of what we want to do is to make this as flexible as possible to, to investors. And not only that, what we have had in the past is where um, persons might have a few shares left in uh, um, their inventory and want to dispose of that. And there was a difficulty in doing that because there was a 100 um, board lot. So now um, persons will be able to exercise um, the opportunity to um, sell as low as one um, per, um, unit of inventory. One share. One okay. share, yes. As it relates to the, the partnership with the NASDAQ as well, so mm -hmm. is it just that you're using their technology or will our will the Jamaica Stock Exchange things be, I, I don't want, I can't use the word listed, but um, are they promoting it in any way? How does that work? No, we are really using their technology. But what we believe is that based on the fact that NASDAQ is um, looking at new products, new services, we also can benefit from the knowledge and from um, just leveraging what they have done. So it not only gives us the ability to use their technology, but based on the relationship, we'll be able to grow as um, they grow. Okay. 
Well, that was the managing director of the Jamaica Stock Exchange, Marlene Street Forest, speaking with me recently. I do hope to have her on Taking Stock sometime soon as well to address a myriad of things. The JSC has been very busy lately, and 2020 looks like it will be even busier, so there's much to discuss. Speaking of Taking Stock, coming up on Taking Stock this evening. First Rock Capital Holdings IPO to open January 13. We'll hear from co-founder Ryan Reed. And later, the analysts weigh in on the latest stock market developments. First Rock's IPO, Epley Caribbean Property Fund buying back their shares. And what are they most looking forward to for the new year? Hmm. That's it for this episode of Money Mondays JA, brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Kalila Ray and subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Kalila Ray. If you like this video, hit that like button and comment below what you'd like me to ask Marlene Street Forest when we have our formal sit down. Also, what are you most looking forward to from the market in 2020? I'd love to see your comments. I'm Kalila Reynolds. See you later.